Hey cuties! So today I'm going to do a Mac haul. Um, I was running errands all day today and the first thing that I did was I went to Mac and look at these bags. So this is the first one here. It is gorgeous. They tied this really pretty like Victorian-esque thing on there that resembles the entire collection. And I got another little bag of things in this one here that is so pretty. Like, I was so excited for this collection. It's gorgeous. And it's safe to say that this collection, the holiday collection, is my favorite packaging yet. I loved it. I loved it so much. It's, it's the best. Okay, so there was an heirloom mix collection and then a holiday collection, I think. I don't know, it's like a little bit confusing because they were all like the same theme a little, but there was a holiday collection and an heirloom collection, I think. I don't know if it's all just one, but I got one thing from the actual heirloom collection set up and I took pictures there, so I'll show you guys here. And this, the lady at the Mac counter sold me on this because I wasn't in love with anything on the actual heirloom collection. Like all lipsticks were pretty dark and I was like, yeah, I just bought a whole bunch of eyeshadows so I don't need them. And she said these are actually pressed pigments. They're not just an eyeshadow. So that right away sold me again. And then she showed me under a primer and a paint pot and all this. And I said, okay, I want that. So if I can get it out here, this one is gorgeous. Like the packaging is sparkly, but it doesn't flake off or anything. The Mac is white there. And this is the one I got in prim and proper. And the shade of it is really dark and pretty. I love this color. It looks so gorgeous and sparkly. And it is a pressed pigment, so it's gonna give you a lot of power on your eyes. And I'm just really pumped for that. That's the only thing that I got from the actual heirloom mix collection. The other things that I stocked up on the holiday stuff, I love the palettes. The palettes were heavenly to me. There was three. I wanted all three and I was gonna get all three when I saw them in person. And then I said, nope, I need to just get two. Like, because there's no need for me to get three. So the first one that I got was this really black sparkly one. Look at that. Like, oh my gosh, this is so nice. So this one is the Beige Eyes. Eyes, why did I say that so weird, eyes? The Beige Eyes palette. Look at these palettes. That doesn't even look like MAC. Oh my gosh. This is so nice. Like, what is even MAC doing? Oh my God, I almost dropped it. I almost dropped it. My heart did a little fluctuation. <gasps> oh, my shadows could have broken and shattered. But it's all sparkly and majestic. And there's like a little MAC thing here that do you push or do you pull or what? What do you do? Uh-oh. I'm scared of it. Oh, you just push it up. You just, you just open it. That's all you do. There's nothing special. You just open it. Okay. So this one is the beige eyes. I don't think I said that yet, but I don't think I've ever got a palette from MAC. These are these shades. This really reminds me of the Nude on Nude palette by Bobbi Brown, but I just love MAC. I love this. Like I love neutral nude lids and it's so pretty. Like when I was swatching them, these three caught my attention and I just had to get it. I think this brush would be perfect for like under eyes. So that's what I will be using those brushes for. But the palette and the packaging itself, so pretty. And these I think were $47 Canadian. And then the other eyeshadow palette I got is this silvery one. And this one is the Plum Eyes. And when I picked this up, I picked up the very last Plum Eyes, which was awesome. So this is so gorgeous. And then a girl after me, when I said I want the Plum Eyes, the Beige Eyes, and I was naming off all the things that I wanted from the collection, the girl said, oh, there's like a nude one. So she went and she looked at the Beige Eyes and she got it as well. And then that was the last one. So they sold out so quick. And oh, I don't know, this collection, I feel like this packaging is really flimsy because I'm trying to open the packaging and when I do that like these beads are gonna like fall off do you see that like they're not that secure on there so I guess they have to be a little careful because I don't want it to break because this is so nice like come on look at these palettes I wanted them all but I just I couldn't do it and I the other one was a white packaging and I love the white I love the white but I 
got it, kind of. I'll show you guys in a second. But this Plum Eyes one, mmm, get out of town. Look at that. Ugh. This Plum Eyes is so deep and rich and it just screams fall and Christmassy. I wear a lot of purples um, on my eyes in the Christmas season. I'm not sure why at all, but these are perfect because I'm going to be going on vacation. So it's great to bring just like a little tiny palette like this. It has a whole bunch of colors in it. And yeah, so I'm pumped for those. I got a few other things in the bag, but they aren't from a collection. So I'll just open this one because I just want to get all the other collection stuff out of the way first. These things are perfect for gifts. If you guys have somebody in your life that loves makeup and you don't know what to get them for Christmas, I would suggest this collection because it is pretty. And then the other thing that I got was a big thing. And look at this packaging. Ah! Who else is a sucker for packaging? I'm just like a sucker for pack of things. Sparkly, like, oh. So then that's why I said I wanted the white, but I got the white, but in a different thing, I guess. Uh, this is the lip bag. So I got a lip bag. Oh, I could not not get it. I think this was 60. This package was 60 here. So there's a little fuzz around there, no. And you get a little makeup bag here, which is also great for traveling. And I'll be using this when I go to California 1000%. It has iridescent sparkles all over it. Like it's so sparkly. And then this Victorian little keychain here. And it says MAC on the back. Uh, the only thing is if I'm gonna use this for makeup, it's probably gonna get dirty in the inside easily because it's white. So maybe I'll use it for like toiletries or my toothbrush and toothpaste and stuff. Not sure yet though. Ooh, that zips pretty nicely. Yeah, oh yeah, good job, Mac. And in the inside, we got some fluff, lots of fluff, lots of fluff, and no makeup, just kidding. So I got the nude bag. I think there was a nude and a red lip bag. I think that was the only things there. For some reason, I thought there was a pink and all this, but it wasn't at the Mac store, but maybe there wasn't even. But you get a lip liner, a lip glass, and a lipstick. I wasn't a big fan of the lipstick just because it is a darker nude, but I thought, you know what? I can't just keep having the same kind of colors all the time. I should venture out and do a darker nude. And not only that, but you get a lip liner and this and this with it, why not? So let's actually start with the lipstick. The packaging is completely blacked out and it has like dots all around it. So gorgeous. And this one is in, I don't, didn't even read, oh, it's a luster. I don't really like lusters and my cat just farted, me sitting on my lap. No, oh my God. Oh. So this says kiss the king. Oh, not for individual sale. It says on air. <gasps> fancy, fancy. Cool, so this, will this never be at MAC then? Maybe, like at, in a single, I don't know. But this is called Kiss the King and the lipstick looks like that. As I said, it is a darker nude. It's almost like a brown to me, but it is very sparkly in the inside there. It is a luster. I have not swatched it yet, so I'm gonna do that for myself right here just to see. Um, ooh, that's really nice. So it looks like that. I will definitely be wearing this even though it's not really my color. I'm 100% gonna wear it and try it. So watch for that in an upcoming video. Next, let's do the lip gloss. So the lip gloss, oh, love the lip gloss. The lip gloss is gorgeous. It's a nice like deep nude and you can wear these just on their own and they're gorgeous. And this one is in Chic supremacy and this one also has the polka dots all around it i love the smell of mac lip glasses but i'm gonna do it over top of this just to see what that looks like together so nice it's a nice like fall nude color like a deep one and then the last thing was a lip line this one is in boldly bare i don't know if any of these are limited edition or if you can get these or if it's just for this set but Boldly Bare was the first thing that I saw in the lip bag, or the first thing that I swatched and I actually looked it up close and it sold me just on the lip liner at itself. And it's so nice. Like it's like a pinky nude. Ugh. So I just love this bag. I love nude lipsticks and lip liners and you get also a bag with it. So that's so exciting. Okay, so then I got three other things because I was looking around at MAC and I just, I just love MAC. Like I don't go that often. And when I was there, I just was looking and I wanted a new lipstick to try. And I happened to get two. And I was looking at more like frosty lipsticks and like glazes and just with like a little bit of sparkle. So I found two 
that I really liked. I had so many swatches on my hand, you should have seen it. Like I was trying to find like a really nice lipstick that I would wear all the time. And it came down to two. I thought I was gonna get like 14, cause that's how I am. But no, um, in both of them, I've never heard of. Like no, I've never heard a beauty guru talk about them or haul them or that, that I remember, cause I watch a lot of hauls. But the first one that I loved the most, like I knew I was gonna get this one is Tanorama and I, I don't know so I just got it and the packaging these are all just like basic MAC lipsticks this looks like this and the color dough that color dough it looks so alien like and oh, uh, some people may say it's a little scary but like there's no way I could have left this behind. The what it looked like, I don't know how it's gonna look like on, I should have tried it on, man. But again, like if lipstick doesn't look that good on me on its own, like I have a lipstick that's like legitimately almost white, you can pair it up with other lipsticks or use it in a lip look and blend it in and use it in and you don't have to do it on your full lips. So even if you don't like one of them, it's okay. If you love makeup and want a huge collection, I should say. <laughs> if you are just wanting like basics, then you should get a lipstick that works well for you all around. Um, the next one that I got, I don't know how to say. I said to her, Fru, and she said, no, I said to her, Fro, <laughs> she said, Fru. So I think it's Fru. And this one is kind of similar, but just darker. And it looks like that. And I couldn't decide between this one and gel. I had this one and gel in my hands. Gel was a little bit darker, I feel. And see, like they're, they're almost the same lipstick, just way darker. Oh, I just really liked both of these. And this one especially, like it was so nice. And the very last thing I got at MAC is a paint pot. My first paint pot ever, woo! And it was because of the girl at MAC again when she showed me the pressed pigment. She showed it to me under a paint pot. It wasn't this one, it was like a pitch black one. So I was like, oh my. So I really liked it. And I didn't get that color just because I do um, like lighter eyes and sometimes darker eyes and colorful eyes. So I got a paint pot that'll kind of work for any look and that is painterly. I chose painter, painterly. Looks like that. It's just a basic nude color, but this will really leave your shadows in place. It's sort of like a primer and I love it. And well, I don't know. I don't know if I love it because I haven't tried it on me, but from what I saw with her, and she said even at that um, MAC pressed pigment that I got, this one, I could put this and use that over top of it and it would pop as well. So I got my very first paint pot that I am so pumped for. So that's that. And that was everything that I got at MAC this run. And thank you guys for watching. I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys. The next core set that I got was this one here. My boyfriend and I were like, what superhero is this? Is this Captain America? And then 